Hello everyone, welcome to Scalers YouTube channel. In this video, we will try to understand what is esports and the future of esports in India. So, esports essentially is just an online competition played between professional players wherein they stream their content online for the engagement and entertainment of uh, potential spectators. So, you know, there were uh, old days wherein people used to watch physical sports such as cricket being telecasted, football being telecasted, chess being telecasted. Now, this has been like a shift in terms of technology wherein people uh, love watching other people play video games. This is extremely unique scenario which has uh, you know recently caught fire and a lot of uh, popular gamers have actually started making their careers out of this. We've seen the likes of Kariminati, Tanmay Bhatt as well as global players such as Scout, Dynamo and Mortal to um, participating in global tournaments and winning prizes. And these prizes are literally in lakhs and crores of rupees or even in uh, millions, uh, of millions of dollars. So this industry is actually growing pretty rapidly. If we were to look at a report, uh, one of the reports according to an EY report uh, mentioned that the industry is forecasted to reach 11 billion Indian rupees by uh, 2025 and is expected to grow at a rate of 46% CAGR over the next 4 years. So those are some really tremendous growth numbers. And if you were to look at uh, this industry from a cosmetic perspective, I believe that this is the best way for a gamer to start their career. Now you can actually build a professional career being a gamer, playing games. Who wouldn't like to be a part of a career like that? Uh, you get to play with teams, you get the recognition, you get telecasted on global platforms and there are tournaments scheduled all year round that you as a gamer can participate in as well. Now uh, why is this gaining popularity exactly? Well, for the simple reason that people love watching other people win or lose. It is pure entertainment. It is just as simple as watching a cricket match or watching a football match. People watch it for the entertainment because there are real people associated with it. There are emotions that get formed between the players and the audience. And that's the reason why people start choosing their teams and which are the best teams that they would like to support. So all in all, the dynamics of esports is very much similar to that of physical sports being telecasted. And that is the reason why this is uh, gaining popularity extremely rapidly. There are uh, platforms that are being built exclusively to cover esports tournament and uh, these platforms are also raising millions and millions of dollars in terms of funding. So this industry is genuinely one of the biggest industries, big, uh, biggest chunks of the gaming industry in general. Obviously the gaming industry uh, as a whole is a big pie. Uh, within that pie, esports has captured a huge market. And this is just being complemented by the quality of games that will be uh, developed over the years. So multiplayer games essentially are the backbone of esports. If there is a good multiplayer game, it certainly has a potential to create an esports um, ecosystem around it. And hence, that's the reason why esports is gaining popularity extremely rapidly. Now let's come to the Indian scenario. I personally feel that the Indian scenario is quite interesting because over here we've got a mix of streamers wherein some streamers participate in tournaments whereas some streamers simply participate uh, uh, you know exclusively on their own uh, creating factions of their own and uh, you know collaborating with other youtubers for that matter youtube has become a big platform for esports player to telecast their tournaments so we've seen the likes of um, you know multiple tournaments being telecasted as well as some streamers taking to youtube and telecasting their playthroughs of all the matches that they've played through. So we've seen entertainment content from the likes of Tanmay Bhatt, Kari Minati, uh, gaining uh, millions and millions of views and entertaining people worldwide as well as in India. So that's one uh, scope of uh, the esports side wherein it's just an extension wherein the competitive element is missing. But since these people are playing these online games and uh, they are being telecasted, there's still that level of dynamic uh, attached from the audience towards the streamer. This has literally enabled a lot of uh, gamers to create proper careers and a revenue stream for themselves. So nowadays you can actually play games and earn money, which is completely uh, like a blessing for you know someone who likes to play games. Because now you will actually be taken seriously by people uh, from the industry and you will be invited to events there are proper you know tournaments hosted internationally as well wherein 
teams that play well are invited and all of their expenses are covered so you know there are some really amazing teams from india as well all the games that um, are a part of the um, multiplayer aspect can be covered in the esports side of things so you know we've seen tournaments happening for counter strike we've seen tournaments happening for valorant and all of these apex legends and all so you can literally pick any game become a master of it and then uh, if you are a master of that game you can start participating in tournaments you can be a part of a team and start to grow your career like that uh, when it comes to the future of esports i think the future of esports is extremely bright uh, primarily because there are uh, games that are going to be developed in the future as well and uh, we've seen some of the games that have got replaced in terms of the tournament structure and new games have taken their place so now it's not a matter of just a game being uh, you know projected into the industry uh, the more better games that come into the industry that are being played by gamers the more better uh, this esports industry will become and it's not just about the hardcore games it also boils down to the smaller games that are being played on the mobile platform so now when you look at esports as an industry you are not just restricted by hardcore pc games or console games but there are tournaments that are hosted for mobile games as well uh, so you know there are also tournaments for pubg mobile or pgmi mobile for that matter if uh, since we are talking about india uh, there are multiple tournaments of these uh, kind that are hosted uh, all over the world and that's the reason why this is really catching fire in terms of the recent examples if we were to see uh, loco as a platform recently raised 42 million dollars in uh, funding and this is primarily because you know they are a platform that promotes esports and all of these tournaments and the streamers that are over there so loco as a platform has been successful in raising these amount of funds which essentially just validates the point that esports is going to be big in the industry and that's the reason why i think if you are a gamer you can literally start today and start making a career out of gaming uh, how do you start well it's simple just pick a game of your choice and start practicing in it Uh, spend hours and hours uh, playing that game, and obviously don't overshoot yourself. Don't over invest your time in just gaming. But if you were to look at this from a professional perspective, then you actually have to dedicate a set amount of time in order to make sure that you are able to achieve that um, pinnacle of success for yourself. And uh, in terms of convincing your parents, I'm sure a lot of gamers might be concerned about how, okay this career path seems to be good but how do i actually convince my parents well you can literally show them news articles to all the recent uh, advancements happening in this space and you can tell them that hey see this is also a professional career uh, gone are the days wherein you know gaming was looked down as uh, just a past time hobby or something this can literally transcend into being your full time career wherein you can go on international tours you can uh, literally win uh, tons of prize money by just simply playing games so the future of esports industry and the future of you being a gamer in the industry are extremely high is there competition and is, is it a risky field obviously it is like to be very fair and honest with you certainly there is a level of risk attached to it but that's a risk that is a part and parcel of almost every field out there uh, let's say for example if you want to approach a cricket tournament structure right so if you want to uh, be a part of the indian cricket team you obviously have to slog hard and work hard towards that particular goal but even if you are not able to reach that uh, goal you will still end up being uh, maybe in the state level tournament or you know some national level tournaments that will be happening so similar is the case with the sports industry as well the dynamics of this are very much similar to that of the sporting industry wherein uh, over in the sporting industry you have to rise up the ladder the same is over here in fact it goes as far as being able to say that i'm able to confidently say uh, that the term esports athlete is actually being coined and is popularly used in the esports field as well so players who are playing these online games are also termed as esports athletes how cool is that like if you are playing a game you are no longer just a, uh, called a gamer you are called a esports athlete if you are able to rise up the ladders if you are able to rise up the ranks certainly this is a really lucrative career for you to be a part of and not just that you will also as a by product of this start gaining popularity because you are then uh, serving as an entertainment source for millions and millions of viewers who are watching you and banking on you uh, to essentially win uh, whatever tournament you are a part of so if you want to start your career in gaming 
as an esports player, the roadmap is pretty simple. All you need to do is identify a game that you're good at, start playing it, start practicing a lot of uh, that game, and then start looking around how many tournaments are being hosted all over the country or internationally. Nowadays, being a part of all these tournaments is so simple that all you need to do is identify and all these uh, tournaments are essentially, some of them are hosted virtually. So you can, at the comfort of your home, sit at your place, assemble a good PC and then start participating in all, in all these tournaments. Now, when it comes to the requirements of a system, uh, obviously as an esports athlete, uh, you will need to build a decent gaming rig. So if you can invest that amount in uh, you know, building up a gaming PC of your own, it will be very much the investment that will be uh, paying you dividends, primarily because as an esports player, you will be participating in all these multiple tournaments and winning those tournaments will also fetch you some prize money. So that is something to keep at the back of your head. So to sum it up, guys, uh, what I think is, um, you know, as we saw what is esports, we talked about the different dynamics of the play, how this industry is very much similar to that of the sporting industry, the physical sports industry and being telecasted for the entertainment and, uh, you know, enjoyment of the spectators is something that, that is really interesting. And this is a shift that we've seen from the physical sporting event to the digital sporting event. And this is only going to stay and amplify further in the future. So, you know, like if someone asks you why should one, you know, uh, invest their time playing game, you can simply show them the numbers uh, and the uh, number of people that are watching uh, those tournaments, the number of hours that people have invested. And uh, with a, you can end with a simple question. If you say that, hey, this is not entertaining, then why do people watch cricket? Why do people watch football? The answer to that question is virtually the same because you are looking at two teams competing against each other and you are rooting for one team and the other team loses, right? So essentially that is what esports boils down to. It's the competitive spirit and uh, this is now uh, turned from the physical age to the digital age and this is the new thing. This is the next big thing that is going to capture the attention of gamers worldwide. So with that in mind guys, I will end this video. I hope I have provided some kind of value to you. If you like this video, press the like button and if you are new to the Scalers YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss another update from them. That's me signing off. Thank you.